Right, what we're going to do today is take this 55 gallon plastic barrel, we're going to cut it directly in half long ways, right across from the bunghole to bunghole right there, right across long ways, and we're going to turn this into an aquaponic system with crawdads in the bottom tank, and we're going to have uh, peppers or tomatoes or something up in the upper gravel tank. Now what you see here is that I've got the two pieces separated from each other. You can see our tank side is definitely deeper, since I did go on the upper side of those openings for the tank. We've got a deeper tank side than we have a gravel side. What we're going to do now, now that we've got them separated like this, is we're going to build a stand that bolts right onto the faces of the tank side of this so it can't wobble back and forth. And also this stand that we're going to build is going to come up and hold this tank up here like this, up above that primary tank. As you can see the metal frame here that I've built. We've got our crawdad tank sitting down there, our aquaponics tank. Now all I'm going to do is throw our upper tank on there now, just like this. And we're ready to go. Now that we got that tank up there, the next step of this is to put it inside the building. Different way to design this aquaponics for a crayfish than you would for normal fish. Normal fish require more of a volume system of measurement where your kind of overall volume of the tank is so many fish that you can raise. Whereas crayfish are more about the surface area inside the tank. So the more surface area I can create back and forth inside of this tank, the more crayfish I can raise up to full size. All right, so now we're looking into the tank with that other screen layer installed, and that gives us a, another false bottom. We won't put any stones on top of this itself. This will just be the open screen mesh. The crawdads up here will have some PVC pipe and everything for them to live in. We'll walk around on this layer. Now at the end of this layer, you'll notice you can get down, and there is a lot of space down underneath this. So there's a whole nother, basically, living area for the crayfish underneath there. And these little ramps that I built are to allow them to go from one level up to the other. So you can see I've got three ramps, one here, one here, and one back there, that allow them to kind of transition from one of the levels to the next. Our PVC pipe for the under gravel filter system rises up through that, and that's where our aeration will take place and our filtration on this level. The upper bin where the plants are going to go is really simple. We've got an output pipe right here. As you can see there, you can see the pipe drops down. It's going to feed down to the bottom tank. I'll show you that in a moment once I put some light on there. We've got our input line right here. I've got these lines flipped upright right now so you can see all the holes in them coming through. And that comes up from the pump. And I've got a valve down there so I can regulate just how much flow is coming out of this into the tank. I can also adjust the water height inside of this tank by adjusting the height of this tube in the tank relative to the water height. Because wherever the top of this is, is right where the water top is going to be. So we can adjust it up and down to adjust our level of water. So once again, we're just going to turn these back around. So you can see those will actually face down. And you want to mix air into your water when it comes out of the fish tank before it goes into the gravel bed here. You want to make sure you've got some distance between the gravel bed and where these sprayers are going to come out. You want to mix some air in there. It's going to help convert some of the ammonia into nitrates as it comes through the plant bed. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like when we're ready for it. But really simple to do. We've got a three quarter inch hole saw hole right there. I've just pushed the black poly pipe down through. Make sure it's a nice tight fit. Kind of had to really work it through. So over here we've got the same basic thing. We've got an inch and a half hole saw hole down at the bottom. I really try to push that pipe so it's nice and snug so we won't have any leaks. All right, so then down below here, you can see we've just got a pump installed down there. It's a 400 and something gallon per hour pump going straight up that line right into our T right there. And there's our drain from the tank going down just to about the water height. It'll just be just above the water level where it drains in. So you can see the bottom tank's ready. We've got to install our lights, put our medium in there, and let's get our plants and our crayfish in these tanks. Quick shot here of the aquarium set up. We've got the crayfish in there. There is 12 crayfish, and it seems like most of them like to be down underneath the screen when the lights are on. So we've got some strings now tying up. I noticed there was a little bit of bend happening on the side walls, especially if you want to keep the water level deep inside of there. So I got some strings across to hold that so you don't have any of it. Uh, we've got a crayfish ready to go. I've got a top bed. I'm starting to lay trays in there now. This will hold the upper medium and the plants will grow right out of this. And I'll have a few of those going across. You can see our sprayers here. We'll have another uh, bed of gravel and some more aquarium stuff down below these beds. So I'll show you that as I put it in. All right, folks, we're done with our aquaponic system. Here's an overhead view of all the plants growing in there right now. You can hear the uh, aeration taking place over here on this side. See all those bubbles? That's from our input into our aquaponics tank. You can see the gravel down below there. I'll show you that here in a moment. You can see all the water line inside of our trays that's got our plants in there. The plants got a kind of a mixture going on. I wanted to see if 
having normal dirt would work in a few of these. We've got gravel in some of them. Everything seems to be doing pretty well. In fact, right here, I've got a little tiny head of broccoli starting right there in the center of that. Then right here, I've got these floating styrofoam pads, and I've got lettuce seeds started in those right now. Uh, this is our drain. Let me go ahead and pull this one up carefully here and show you what's taking place there underneath it. So you can see our drain in action, dropping that water down down below, which I'll show you here in a moment. You can see all our gravels in there. You can see the water line going through with all the plants. Let's say you got a, a piece of floating foam with a hole right above a, a drop-down style drain like this, a surface drain. You can have floating duckweed now in here, and the floating duckweed won't go to your surface drain. I've noticed this would be an easy way to create something that would allow for a surface drain design in a duckweed container if you raise duckweed for any reason. The aeration, the bubbling taking place right there, is that adds oxygen into the upper water, helping convert some of the ammonia into nitrates. And the nitrates are what are feeding our plants. The plant roots right now drooping down below the, uh, the containers are helping to clean our water out of the nitrates. Once it's clean, it drops back down our tube. Now we could actually add some kind of uh, filter medium inside the tube as long as it didn't pack it up too much and help filter some of that out at the very end. All right, just a quick look underneath. We have that all planted in lettuce. If I zoom in real quick here, somewhere in there you can see the little tiny green shoots coming up out of there. Right there's the little guy. So all our lettuce is starting, ready to go, and that's almost all covered. I just have a little opening there for our waterfall coming in, some of the power lines and different things in there. The crayfish are providing the nutrients that we need that's going up into the upper tank. The upper tank is growing food for us, delivering clean water back down to our crayfish in a full closed loop aquaponics system. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Teslonian.